<clears throat> Brisky and I have an announcement. <gasps> no, Mum, not that. Oh, biscuits. <laughs> G'day you cheeky dogs, today I want to talk about the Bluey episode The Sign and the increase in family diversity that they showed in this episode because in real life there are lots of different types of families. Mums go to work and dads stay at home and mow the lawn. And this episode is definitely Bluey's like stepping stone introducing the idea of blended families as well as LGBTQ plus families too. And they do this all through the characters Pretzel, the Terriers and Winton. Yeah, like when my guinea pig ran away, my mum's told me he might come back, but he didn't. Aww. Mum, please, can we go home? This place smells like grandma. I told you you were good. And if you absolutely loved the scene between Winton's dad and the Terrier's mom as much as I did, don't forget to hit that like button down below as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. But let's go through this episode and the different types of families that they showed between these sort of three characters. And I'm going to start off with the school scene because that's where a lot of this information starts with. And we're going to start at the beginning with Pretzel and his two mums. Yeah, like when my guinea pig ran away, my mums told me he might come back. back he didn't. So yes, as you heard it there, he says mums in the Australian subtitles. It also says mums as well. This is an Australian show. This is what we consider as canon. And for me, when I first like listened to the episode, I didn't catch it. When I listened the second time and I had the subtitles on, I did catch it and my first thought was, oh, he has lesbian mums. That's really nice. Like that's such an organic way to just have that in there. The kids didn't react weirdly or different. It's just part of real life because people in real life do sometimes have two mums. Now, of course, I should bring up that this could refer to other things as well. It could refer to step mums and his actual mum. So again, that would show maybe a blended family. Or of course, it could indicate his biological mum and adoptive mum. Again, showing a blended family. And when I posted this on TikTok and Instagram, there were lots of really positive responses from this, both from people who work at Ludo Studios as well as other people. But not surprisingly, there were some negative comments as well. But... One of the comments was the fact that the word mums is like Australian slang, which no, it's not. A lot of people debunked this as well in like the comment section. Oh look, it's another mum. <laughs> oh dear. How do you remove makeup? <laughs> But for me, I'm Australian, I grew up in Queensland and never did I call my mum mums as slang. My kids don't, my friends' kids don't in Australia. Hi mum. Oh hello Bingo. Come with us mum. I've never heard that as a thing ever, so I don't count that. Mum. Mum. What is it Bingo? I didn't say dad, I said mum. I did however see people in the comment section saying that in the dubbed versions in their countries, which were using a different language, it was changed to the singular word of mum or mother. So whether this is a case of censorship or just like a script misunderstanding, I am not sure. But of course in the comment section as well, there were homophobic comments too, which makes me really sad. But I think people tend to forget that this is a Australian show and it shows Australian lifestyles and Australian values as well. And Ludo Studios in particular has no qualms with the idea of LGBTQ plus people or parents or anything like that. Because right now the project that they're working on instead of Bluey is called Willy. It is about a 15 year old boy in Queensland who is going through his sexual awakening and realizing that he likes guys. A lot of the people who work on Bluey as well or at Ludo Studios are also a part of the LGBTQ plus community as well. So Australia isn't as divisive on this subject as say America is. And I felt like that's what I saw in that comment section a lot was people more from America having the negative comments. Whereas in Australia, this isn't as big of a issue for us, I would say in general. But cheeky dogs, before I go on to Winton and the Terriers, let me know in that comment section down below if you heard this the first time, if you're in a different country, what does it say? What do you interpret this as? I want to know all your thoughts and feelings down below. But let's go on to the next part of that school scene though, where we hear Winton so sadly talk about the divorce between his mum and dad. My dad doesn't live with my mum and now he's lonely all the time. Aww. And like this kind of broke my heart because we've already seen Winton's dad lonely throughout the seasons. Like they talked about this in the Behind Bluey podcast as well, how they were making this like an ongoing storyline of his dad being sad. And we saw that all through season three in the background too. And she had started this backstory with Winton's dad looking for love. It then kind of became a big running story. So then you'd see him quite sad in shots and think, okay, he's he's not found anyone yet. And then the fact that like the terrier tells him about his mum liking his dad. How mum likes your dad? 
Like that just made me so, so, so happy because we saw this starting up in the episode TV shop with them starting to flirt. And the fact that this is obviously like continued into a big relationship all the way through to the fact that at the end, Winton's dad is the MVP of this episode and saves the day without even realizing what he's done. But him choosing to sell his house is of course what saves Bluey's house and the series as a whole. You're in a good mood, Bluey. Yeah, Calypso said that everything was going to work out. So that means those dogs you can't see aren't going to buy our house. God, a pool. What do we do? And he ends up getting his fairy tale ending, just like everyone else, because he is no longer lonely now because he has the Terrier's mum. And it was so beautiful seeing them come together and then seeing the boys all in the car yelling hooray and then becoming a blended family of stepmom, stepdad, stepbrothers. Why do stories always have happy endings? Well... I guess because life will give us enough sad ones. And I really hope in season four we get like a Step Brothers episode that might pay like homage to like that movie. I think that would be so funny. But not only does this show a blended family, it also shows a mixed breed family, which is something we don't really see a lot of in Bluey, but they have been putting it in a lot more throughout season three. And of course, mixed breeds to relate it to real life would be a interracial or biracial family. And Ludo Studios and Bluey were criticized about this early on, sort of at the end of like season one, start of season two, about the fact that there wasn't as much diversity shown in the show. In general, a lot of the backlash to that was it's a show about dogs, which is perfectly fine. It is a show about dogs. We're dogs, kid. We all have a place in the pack. But on the other side of it though, like it was very much showing the like stereotypical idea of like same breeds, same like opposite genders, like that kind of thing I should say. So I do feel like Ludo Studios probably, yeah, did take this on and decide to show different types of families, just like how we have different types of families in real life. And the sign was definitely like a stepping board, I think for that, even with like background characters that we saw that were different breeds to their parents or different breeds of mums and dads together. But cheeky dogs, let me know in that comment section down below though. What did you think about Winton and the Terriers becoming stepbrothers, about their mum and dads getting together, the house being for sale, all your thoughts and feelings about it, let me know down below. And what other types of families would you like to see on the show? While you're down there as well, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release more of Bluey the Sign videos because I have a stack of them coming out. What were you doing in India for so long, Baba? Well, girls, oh, he was up trying to find himself. Find yourself? That's silly. Why do you need to find... But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah. Bye.